Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be vlogging today, but I wanna show you guys what I just got in the mail really quick. I'm so excited. I'm sure you guys know what 4Ocean is. If you are on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, like every ad right now that I see at least is all 4Ocean. This is not sponsored by them, but I wanna tell you guys a little bit about it because I really love what they're doing. So they're selling bracelets and water bottles made from like recycled materials. I know the bracelets are made from recycled materials. I don't think the water bottles are, but they're using all of the funds from us purchasing these things to remove trash and waste from the ocean. So for every bracelet purchase, they remove an entire pound of waste from the ocean. So that's what really made me buy one of these and they looked really cute online. So I want to see how it looks in person. So I'm gonna open it up here with you guys. It shipped in about a week, so it came quick. So, oh yay, it came with a cute sticker. I'm gonna put that on my hydro. How cute. So that says 4Ocean. And then on their website with all of the bracelets, there's different colored ones and the different colors support different animals. I didn't really care which animal to choose. Like I wanna save all the animals. So I just chose the bracelet that looked the prettiest to me, which is the white one. And the white one is the polar bear. So it says, save the polar bears. And on the back here, it said, proudly wear this bracelet knowing that you are helping to both reduce climate change and help save polar bears. We've partnered up with Polar Bears International and carbonfund.org to create a more sustainable future for polar bears and our planet. As with all of our bracelets, we commit to removing one pound of trash from the ocean through beach, coastal, and offshore cleanups. This bracelet represents your support. So that's super cute. So literally we're saving polar bears with this bracelet and helping clean up the ocean. It's a win-win and I'm so excited to see. So this is the little bag. It says hand assembled in Bali and then the bag just says for ocean on the back okay so this is the bracelet it's so cute i just went with the um white string because i just wanted it to be like very neutral for summertime and stuff but this is it with the pretty beads they feel almost like glass beads um and then it has the cute little for ocean symbol on it oh it's very big i really want to wear it as an anklet but i don't think this is going to be big enough to put over my foot <laughs> but it also came with this little tag and it says for ocean one pound so that's kind of like your way of saying you saved a pound of trash from the ocean so i love this concept i think it's so great what they're doing and really the pur purpose of buying is to help save the ocean help save an animal but they kind of just give you a bracelet for funsies i guess so the bracelets are 20 dollars. they also have water bottles which i think i'm gonna buy next because they're really cute the water bottles are 30 dollars, and those also remove a pound of waste from the ocean so i'm probably gonna buy one of those next because they're super cute but yeah i just wanted to share this with you guys because i think it's really cool it's only 20 dollars, and i think pretty much all of us are concerned about the environment and this is just something cool that we can all kind of do together to save the, save the environment and wear a cute bracelet. Okay guys, look, I figured out how to make it bigger to wear it as an anklet and I think it's super cute. So yeah, highly recommend, go buy one or a couple, give them as gifts. I don't know, save the planet. He doesn't feel hot, I think he's stressed. He's drilling a lot. Look at that big mouth, oh my goodness. Hi guys, it's a few hours later and wow gross but i wanted to talk to you guys real quick about spike's food because i recently saw this thread on twitter about this girl talking about like healthier cat and dog foods and like certain specifications about ingredients and stuff so i was looking more into it because i noticed spikes had like weird behavior lately and it kind of correlated to things she was saying so i did like more research and i looked at the ingredients and the food that he was giving him we were feeding him the ultra adult large breed food it's ultra and it's in like a blue bag we were feeding him that and he liked it a lot but i think um the ingredients in it just were not as good as they could have been so i was doing a bunch of re a bunch of research and we went to petco today to get him some food and we looked at a bunch of different brands and this one lady said that she has a pit bull who has a lot of allergies and stuff which is common and she buys a food that we were looking at and considering so we went ahead and got it it's the nature's recipe brand 
and we got the one that's salmon, sweet potato, and pumpkin because I know pumpkin's really good for dogs with like sensitive stomachs and stuff and it just seems like very quality ingredients so we picked that up for him. Did you love it? Hello! Hi handsome. I think he loved it. We mixed a little bit of it into his food because you know how you have to transition a dog from one food to another. So we put a tiny bit of it in his normal food and he ate it so fast. He's normally not very good at eating. He usually will eat just a little bit and then maybe not eat at all the rest of the day or I don't know he's just weird like sometimes he doesn't eat at all during the day until like 10 o'clock at night like it's so weird but as soon as we put that food out he loved it and we also got him a bag of new treats because the treats we were giving him were really not good so yeah that's why we went to Petco we were gonna buy him a harness as well because a few people told us a harness will help with the pulling so we put it on him and walked him around the store with it and it did not help whatsoever so we ended up not buying it it's 35 dollars and it wasn't really gonna fix the issue so we're just gonna stick with the choke collar for now and yeah my hair is disgusting ew i'm gonna hop in the shower right now it's uh 7 30. i'm gonna shower really quick and then So You Think You Can Dance starts tonight, my all-time favorite show ever. It's a childhood favorite of mine. Most of you guys know I grew up as a competitive dancer, so watching shows like So You Think You Can Dance just brings back all the feels for me, and especially because I went to a performing arts high school for a few years, so a lot of the people that I went to high school with or were friends with are on the show every season, and so like it's so cool to see people that I went to school with like on live TV for dance, it's so cool. So yeah, I'm gonna watch that tonight. I'm super, super excited. And one of my friends from high school, Anna Lynn's Truth, is supposed to be on it this season. So I'm super excited for that. And yeah, that's how my Monday is gonna go. Tomorrow is Tuesday. It's my first day back at work from my weekend. And now I'm just blabbering, so I'm gonna go shower. Oh my goodness, I took my shower and I just sat down in front of the TV with a nice cake and a mug to watch the show. And I thought I had the TV on Fox, um, but apparently I didn't. Or like, maybe I don't even know what channel it's supposed to be on. I'm pretty sure So You Think You Can Dance is always on Fox. And so I was like on there and I don't see the show. So now I don't know what's going on. Or maybe I just have the wrong time. Oh, it starts at nine. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna have to eat my cake in a mug now, so I'm gonna watch YouTube while I watch it. And then I will watch So I Think You Can Dance, and I'm so excited. I really thought it was on at eight though, but it's on at nine, but that's okay. Okay, I'll see you guys again once the show's starting. <gasps> it's time. Hey guys, good morning. It's the next day and I'm going to end the vlog shortly, but I just wanted to talk about something else really quick. I feel like this is just a weird, random, lots of different situations vlog. Um, so I might as well add this to the vlog while I'm here. Um, so yesterday I went through my closet and I emptied out basically everything that I feel like I'm never going to wear again or I've just held on to so long I just don't need it anymore. So with those items, I thought about selling them on like Poshmark or Mercari because I know those are really popular um, apps and websites for selling clothes on, but then I always get worried with like their rules and them taking a percentage and stuff and also not selling anything because I would have to basically gain a following on those apps in order to sell something. So I've decided I'm gonna try to sell them on my Instagram I'm not exactly sure how yet. I might make a separate Instagram account and make that just for selling clothes because I don't want this to be like a one-time thing. I want to constantly sell new clothes, or I'm sorry, I want to constantly buy new clothes and constantly sell older clothes to keep a nice rotation of clothes going in my closet. So I may make a separate Instagram page for it or I may just do it on my story and if someone wants something they'll have to DM me which piece they want but I don't know. So I think I'm gonna test out doing it on my story first and then if that doesn't work out then I'll just make a separate Instagram page. 
basically all I'm trying to say is I'm selling a bunch of things um, I'm probably gonna post them today or tomorrow this video is going up tomorrow so it'll probably be up by then I have a huge pile of shirts and a sweatshirt and a couple dresses a bodysuit a skirt um, I have two pairs of jeans I have a bikini so there's lots of variety. I didn't go through my shoes yet, but I think I'm gonna sell a couple pairs of shoes as well just because I'm not a huge shoe girl. I don't wear that many different pairs of shoes, so I should get rid of some. So yeah, just letting you guys know, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at buffmorg. It's always linked down in the description below so you can always find it. And yeah, go ahead and follow me there. I'm gonna be selling them at a decent price. I feel like it's gonna be very low prices, like almost goodwill prices, and I am gonna charge for shipping but it's not gonna be a bunch. Um, and I'm gonna do it where um, if you guys live in Vegas and you wanna come pick it up, obviously that'd be free shipping. You could just come buy it and grab it. Or if you don't wanna drive by, then I can ship it for you. Or if you live in another state, then I can ship that to you as well. I'm not gonna be doing any international shipping cause that could just end up costing a lot. And I don't want you to pay like $25 for shipping for a $3 shirt. So yeah. That's all I really wanted to say is that I'll be selling clothes and you guys should keep an eye out. And the reason I'm selling my clothes is so that I can do more clothing hauls. As you guys know, I don't make money from YouTube yet, so I'm basically doing YouTube for free right now. Obviously, I like it, so it's not like a bad thing, but I am making all of this content for free. And when I want to upload hauls and such on my video, all of that money comes out of my own pocket. And it's hard for me when I don't have like a high paying job or anything. So I'm trying to work on selling clothes that I don't need and then using that money to buy new clothes to give you guys a clothing haul video and to be able to post better pictures on my Instagram in those new clothes. So that's kind of the whole purpose. Really the purpose of me selling you guys my old clothes is so that I can show you guys new clothes. And I kind of want that to like be a cycle. So Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!